Hello folks and welcome to Linux for Seniors. Linux is for any age, but the name of the channel is Linux for Seniors. You should see a logo above your time date if you'd like to subscribe. This is just a watermark. So if you don't see that, um, look for Linux for Seniors on YouTube if you'd like to subscribe. Filming in 1920 by 1080. You can adjust your YouTube player accordingly. This is Linux Mint 21.3 Cinema. So today I'm going to talk about adding different language layouts and displaying them on your keyboard downstairs or your panel, I should say, with keyboard layouts. This is US and this is Belgian. These um, are generic layouts. Also the character table also is in here. I'll switch back to the US. When you first start out, you will only have your primary language. That means no icon. Right click, system settings, scroll down to hardware and keyboard. Last tab is layouts, and this is where these are installed. You need at least one to have that displayed down here. You notice that it doesn't display anymore. So whatever your primary language is, you need one more. So I'll just pick on the Afghani one since that's in line and now I'll see that and the Afghani. I'll add one more and um, we'll add the Belgian one. So now I should have three of these. If I decide to turn this off then you'll just have the letters US, AF for Afghani and BE for Belgian. The keyboard layout part is still the same and so is the character table. Okay, so if you want to see the flag, if available, click that. Okay, so you need, you need at least two for it to display a flag. And I would suggest using that option there. Very simple install, very simple to use. Is it perfect? Probably not. But again, I'm just showing you how to install that. Got uh, 300 plus videos on my YouTube site, so subscribe to Linux for Seniors. Again, this is just a watermark. Thank you for watching.